birthday. Welcome! Ah, see you later. Good morning. I just woke up and I feel like I've been hit by a truck. We didn't sleep well last night, but it's Eli's birthday. Woohoo! So we're gonna go through all the preparations of making his birthday special. But first, I need to probably Are you smiling? Are you happy? What do you say? That hair is wild. It's the hair of a two-year-old, I think. It looks great. Oh, you still got your shoes on, I see. Happy dance. Lemons. Ah, cool. Put it back. Thank you. Gentle. Thank you, love. Nice. Woohoo! You're in a very happy birthday mood. <laughs> happy birthday. Mm. So good. Living your best life, huh? Coloring, <laughs> naked, oatmeal. Oh, very nice. For the party, I'm gonna, my idea is anyways, to make like um, some baguettes and make like really large sandwiches, um, vegan sandwiches, I think it's gonna be great. So I'm making the baguettes now, I've never made this recipe, and hoping that it goes well. Yeah, let's brush teeth, baby. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A brush of bunny teeth. Oh, bunny, good job. Good job, bunny. Ah, good job. Friends, get the friends. I need to get your friends, baby. How come you don't like that? Yeah. Not the flowers, not the flowers. Flowers, don't go there. All done? Open, open. Open what? Okay. Open what, love? What do you want to open? Oh, no. What happened here? Crazy. Um, she wanted me to read to clean the rehearsal. Just use the checking. Just checking? Yeah. Right. Booby couch. Let's do it. Booby couch? What is it, my boy? Oh, don't cry. Come on. Bigger. She says she love me, but she don't. Playing in my heart just like a repeat of a song. Tried to make it work, but I'm mm, good thing I keep those toilets gone. so clean, huh? Good job. Nice nice work. Work. It's hard to say it, but it's true. Hard to find the words that I'm supposed to say to you. It's time to pack your bags, girl, cause I'm moving on. Oh, it was off the whole time. He's got to be kidding me. I gave her all my money, and now that she spent it, she already talking like she moving on. A girl, I promise she has to be gone, 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 gone. Okay, I promise she has to be gone, 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 gone. Hey, because you left me with a broken heart. And I'm gonna just clean up the house now and then continue making food. And then I'll sit down with you guys and we can have a little chat. I've started only washing my hair once or twice a week at most. But at the suggestion of my new hairdresser, she just said, you gotta try and stretch it out. So let me know in the comments below if you are interested in hearing about how I'm stretching that time out. One of my main tips for stretching the time out is to style your hair on the day that you wash it. And then not touching it a lot also helps. Oh, do you wanna say something? Yeah. What do you do for your hair? You only wash it once a week too. And it looks glorious. Tell everybody how you get that hair to look so gorge. What's your tips? Oh. Holding mama. Alright, so 
let's have a little chat. I cannot believe Eli is two years old today. It's insane to me. I feel like he was just born and I also feel at the same time that he's been with us all along. I can't imagine my life without him. He's the best blessing. I love him so, so much. I'm really excited to have a little get together and just be able to spend some time with him because honestly, lately, my life has been absolutely crazy. I know when we see people on social media or on YouTube, at least I don't know about you, but I always think, oh, their lives must be so much better than mine and they don't have to do all these things. But the thing is, if you're looking at my life and thinking that I'm just showing the wonderful parts of it, it's true, I am. I've got stress, I've got things that I deal with. I work a million jobs to help out as well as stay home with my baby and lately I've been working all kinds of jobs just to get some money for our family and also I feel like I'm really missing that one-on-one -on -one time with Eli. So I really look forward to today and I know there's moms that watch this channel and so I know that you know what I'm talking about. It's like this feeling of you need to help provide for your family and yet you feel guilty because you're away and then when you're home, you've got so many things to do. I just feel like I've been stressed out. I've got some breakouts going on all along here and I know that's hormonal and also stress related. So I just feel like I'm at this point where I'm kind of like, Ah, frazzled a little bit and I just want to enjoy this day. So since he's turning two, a couple things that I want to talk about. One is breastfeeding. I will continue to breastfeed. I've actually weaned him for the night. We're doing one session of breastfeeding in a night and it's normally around 4 or 5 a.m. and then he will go back to sleep for a little bit. I'll wake up, get a couple things done for a couple hours before he wakes back up. The second thing is we've transitioned him over to his own room. This whole time he's always slept with us in our bed. I love the idea of co-sleeping. It's one of my favorite things in the world. For his birthday, we really wanted to make this room that was meant to be his room, but has kind of become like the laundry room, the backpack room. We wanted to make it his room. So that was what we got him for his birthday. We got a bed and we got a little set of table and chairs from my mom and dad. And we really want to make it feel cozy and like somewhere he wants to be. But the thing is, I knew that the transition time would take some time. You can't just be sleeping with your baby for almost two years and then just say, bye-bye, see you in the morning. Or at least I can anyway. So with a trundle bed, that gives us an option for me to sleep there close by him and then jump up to his bed when he needs me and I don't have to run down the hall. For us, it works really, really well. I love the setup and actually the bed is pretty comfortable. And the transition over to moving to that room was a little bit rough. We definitely had a lot of sleep regression in that time, but I feel like it's starting to settle back in now. And I think it's maybe been one full week of transition. I think anytime you transition over to a new change for a baby, it's a lot. And so you have to just be patient with yourself and just realize you're gonna be sleep deprived or whatever it is that you're trying to transition and it just takes time. But he's settling in. Lots of stuffed animals help. He loves his fluffy, squishy stuffed animals and then mom is there too. Um, and it's working out for us right now. So yeah, so it's the birthday day. I'm gonna make some more food. I'm gonna take you guys along, show you what I'm doing. The house is all clean and now I just gotta worry about food and presentation until people come over and I'm just ready to have a good time with my little boy and celebrate his wonderful, wonderful life. And there is the finished loaves. They don't look that fancy, but I think they'll look totally fine with the sandwich I'm going to make. So this is a present from Chris's aunt. <laughs> look at the hearts. Aw, hearts and smiles. <laughs> yeah, look. Oh, there's oh Nisha. you got a Nisha in there. Uh, and actually this is my mom's, I think. Oh. <laughs> so this is from grandma, from Babcha. Thank you, Barta. Oh, oh it's very sweet. Look! Oh. <laughs> That's so you cute! Like it? Oh. Look at that exciting. Look at that! Oh, Cold, of course, this is for you. Oh, you like him? Oh, that's Can so you say, sweet. Thank you, Can you say Dziękuję, Babcia? As a little boy? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Look at Aww. that. <laughs> No dziękujemy, jest taki śliczny, on go tak uwielbiał, normalnie wiesz, się tak zachwycił nim. Thank you, babcia. Słyszałaś, jak ci powiedział? O, thank you, babcia. So I made some beautiful granola balls. He really likes to eat these. I'm being quiet because he's sleeping. They turned out beautiful. I'm gonna put those back in the fridge and present them better. And then our aunt made this Polish potato salad. It's potatoes and leeks and turnips, parsnips. It's so good. Steamy blueberry muffins is also favorite. <laughs>
I think it turned out so pretty. Take a look. The party's in 15 minutes, and meanwhile, Someone brought you some balloons, huh? I'm really not a big fan of these kind of balloons because I've seen um, how they get caught and how they get caught up in animals and animals in like the sea and birds and stuff just get caught in these kind of balloons. Um, so not a huge fan. So it is what it is, but I thank my mom for getting them for him. And he's of course really happy about it. Oh, you like it? Ready to go. Nobody showed up on time, and I mean nobody. <laughs> but it's actually really good, because I wasn't ready anyways. Okay, let me show you the spread. I'm pretty proud of it. I think it will taste good and look good. Beautiful lime water, and I really wanted to not use like single plastic use things, so I've got my kid bowls back there for the kids, and silverware and all of that. And then it really is like Eli's favorite foods. He loves these blueberry muffins. They're amazing. Um, the recipe's on my website if you want them. These are little ranola balls. They turn out so cute and good. Some potato salad, some lovely salsa from my cookbook, queso dip with some lovely fresh veggies on top. And then of course the sandwich came out so beautiful. Ah, I think it's gonna be great. Now hopefully people will show up to eat it. A really good birthday party for you? No. Are you two years old? Are you two years old? Do you like to be two? So all in all, I feel like it was a really successful birthday party. I can't believe I'm a mom. It's crazy. And that I've been a mom for two years and I was pregnant for a year before that. It just blows your mind. And I read this quote the other day that talks about like the couple years after you give birth are these transition years changing you into this new human that you're gonna be. And I totally agree. And I love my little human. I love my tiny little boy and he's such a great boy. I can't imagine my life without him. Happy birthday, you big boy. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye, have a great day. If that's what it takes to make me smile, I'm gonna walk a hundred miles